Is it started? Is it? Is it? <laughs> okay. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Asif Imna. Welcome to my channel AI with AI. In today's video, we are going to talk on thrilling and most exciting topics. This video will put your thinking cap on. You'll understand which are the roles those are vanishing soon, which are the jobs those are in danger. Undoubtedly, this video will help you to take your future actions depending on what is your current role. So stay tuned, make sure you watch this video till the end and don't forget to like and subscribe. I will be talking about is my current job in danger or have I chosen a right career path? Am I skillful enough to fulfill future requirements? If not, what action should I take now? What is the road ahead? So stay tuned to get all the answers to your questions. First of all, let me talk on am I in the correct field? Is my current job or work is in danger? So let's get jump into and understand. See, in the last video, I had discussed on how evolution in the field of AI has happened. If not seen, please go and watch that video first. I'm keeping the link below in the description or click on the i button above. From past decades, we have been moving a lot of manual work to automation and trying to automate everything, all tasks, so that we can be more cost effective and more profitable in lesser time with less efforts, isn't it? Hence, wherever continuously, this dumb human interaction is required, we are getting rid of it and making machines, robots do that repetitive work. You can see a lot of manufacturing units, industries have already moved to automation. Machines have already taken our jobs. But I guess now we are not only doing automation, but smart automation. As in, we are adding brain to automation by moving towards smart digitalization. So considering this, which jobs will be replaced by smart machines is a question. In traditional work, wherever critical skills like critical management, critical analysis, critical thinking and even the creativity is not required, these jobs will be taken away from us. For an example, we are coming up with driverless cars in near future, so will not require drivers. Waiters in the restaurants are just doing repetitive work to take our orders and serve the food, to take our orders and serve the food, right? So this is just a repetitive task that they are doing, so that will be replaced by robots. Food delivery. Today, humans are delivering hot tasty food to our doorstep. Courier boy is delivering you a letters, documents and the items that you bought online, isn't it? So do you think that these courier boy delivering the food or delivering couriers are the required? You can see Amazon has already come up with this technology. They are delivering the items that you have bought online by the drone. So now we don't require humans to deliver your documents, your items that you bought online and even your food to your doorstep. Now we have a drones to do that. Today we have humans working as laborers in the factories to take care of preparing, cleaning, packing and also as a security. Do you think that we'll need the humans to do this repetitive work? I don't think so. Those who are working as a customer care executive, we don't require humans to take care of customers now. We have bots a chat bot to communicate with the customers now. Let me show you an amazing example here. Last year, Sundar Pichai at Google I.O. had shown an amazing demo of how a virtual assistant can fix up the appointment for you. Let's take a look. Let's say you want to ask Google to make you a haircut appointment on Tuesday between 10 and noon. What happens is the Google assistant makes the call seamlessly in the background for you. So what you're going to hear is the Google Assistant actually calling a real salon to schedule the appointment for you. Let's listen. What's happening out here? Hi, I'm calling to book a woman's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Sure, give me one second. Mm-hmm. Sure, what time are you looking for around? At 12 p.m. Okay, we have a 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. is fine. Okay, what's her first name? The first name is Lisa. Okay, perfect. So I will see Lisa at 10 o'clock on May 3rd. Okay, great. Thanks. Great. Have a great day. Bye.
That was a real call you just heard. The amazing thing is the assistant can actually understand the nuances of conversation. In simple words, wherever you see a repetitive task, obvious predictability and no critical thinking is involved and even no management and no smartness is required, these jobs are in danger and will be vanishing soon. I can actually list n number of jobs here. A delivery boys, drivers, accounting, bookkeeping, clerks, cashiers, receptionists, bank tellers, data entry personals, inspectors, testers, assistants, and even computer programmers. Yes, I mean even laid back computer programmers. I'm not saying this. World Bank had said that 70% of IT sector jobs will be taken away. So be prepared. You know that Andrew Ng said machine learning starts where you think you cannot code. Where you think you cannot code. Sounds scary, isn't it? So ask a question yourself. Are you doing any of this dumb task where no critical thinking is involved? Then I need to change myself and adapt to the continuously changing technologies. Today, make a promise to yourself that I will also transform myself to the smart digitalization. And you know the very famous quote here, change is the only constant. So keep adapting to the continuously changing technologies. Okay, okay, relax, sit back. You may be thinking that how can you approach this? How can I achieve this? Does that mean all of us are going to be jobless and doing nothing? Not really. If some jobs disappears, it opens up doors to new opportunities. New types of jobs will come into a market. Same questions had been asked in 70s as well. If calculators and computers are going to do our task, then what we will be doing? But eventually, it had created a new field computer science and so a many direct and indirect jobs in computer science. Treat artificial intelligence or machines like a dog. Ask them to do your repetitive work. Don't you think that? So we'll still need trainers to train the machines. Okay, so this is about the jobs that are vanishing soon. What are the new hot jobs that are coming up in the near future? We will require a robot manufacturer like Boston Dynamics, the very famous one by the Google, right? Or Yaskawa Electronics, popularly known as a robot village in Japan. We will require artificial body manufacturer. Except brain, everything can be replaced in near future. We will need a big data and AI scientist. Healthcare is one of the domain where we'll see a lot of innovations coming up. One of the best example of this is the Vinci machine, which does the surgery. So doctors don't need to be available right there in the surgery room. The Vinci machine can do a even critical surgery which are not possible by humans. And doctors can support this surgery from anywhere in the globe. We will require psychologist, we will require therapist, the management and the leadership related jobs, the investment bankers, digital marketing, CAs, we will require them all. In same way, wherever creativity is required, like creating music, or photography and editing, acting, movies, even in this field, we will require a people, we will require a human. Our machines may not do this in near future. For product sales, we have a chatbots though, but they are not yet smart. For personalized cells, will still require a human intelligence. Similarly, in cyber security, in the field of education, and again for virtual reality and augmented reality, we still require a human. In short, whichever field requires super specialization, critical thinking will survive. Traditional technical skills will vanish, and managerial skills, mainly people skills, will go far and will be required. Change is the only constant, and now that is learning to keep you alive and keep going long. I'm not an expert in all these fields that I've discussed, but I can surely talk about AI. In next video, I'm gonna give you the roadmap how to AI, machine learning and deep learning and become expert in it. What is the roadmap? From where can I start learning these technologies? So stay tuned for next video. Trust me, you start now, start today, you're gonna love this for sure. By the way, you have already taken a step one by watching this video. And that's great. And uh, that's it for now. See you again next time. Bye-bye. Take care.